Some people think that Luke 16 uh, is describing a real event, and I wouldn't argue with people that are adamant uh, in that respect. Um, I don't think it is. I think it's more of a parable. Um, you keep that parable in the context of where it's found in Scripture, and Jesus had just confronted uh, the, the Pharisees. The Pharisees were uh, money-loving, and the previous verses, um, Jesus is making that clear. Um, he, he shares that parable, I believe, to, to make one major point, and that is uh, there is a hereafter coming that uh, though people may fare sumptuously now uh, on this earth, enjoy the, the many blessings of, of uh, common grace that, that, that God gives all people, there will be a day when, when this life is over. And um, so in that parable, Jesus is showing that this one rich man who calls himself a child of Abraham, um, th this guy, when it's all said and done, didn't have the, the faith that this Lazarus did. And so even his standing as a, as a physical descendant of Abraham, that, that, didn't, uh, that didn't buy him heaven, so to speak. That when it was all said and done, Lazarus had faith. And Lazarus, even though he went through um, difficult times, to say the least, on this earth, at least in this parable, um, uh, you know, in the end, it was a rich man who was foolish. In that parable, um, Jesus goes on to, to, to say that, that while he was suffering in, in Hades, this, this rich man was uh, somehow compassionate for his own five brothers. He says, Father Abraham, please send uh, Lazarus to, to warn my brothers so that they not come to this place. And, uh, and Abraham, you know, Jesus makes the point that, you know what, if they don't believe Moses and the prophets, they'll not believe even though one is uh, raised from the dead and comes back to them. So there's a great tie in there to, uh, to Christ and His, uh, His redeeming plan for, for mankind. But that really is, as all parables do, they, they really hone in on one major point, and that major point you know, that Jesus is making here is uh, there is a hereafter coming. Um, so don't base you know, what you're experiencing on this side of eternity uh, as, a, as necessarily an, an indicator of what's going to come in the future.